onomatopoeia. Unique New York. Yeah, let's just do it. All right. YouTube. YouTube. It's YouTube. Time. This is for all of the people watching yes. on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. And this is Friday Was Live. So we're doing a little a bonus intro for all the people that are uh, subscribed to our channel. Yes. Because uh, we love it and appreciate and thank everyone for the support. We are currently working on the currently. 900 Global. Currently. Currently, I said currently. Okay. The 900 Global Honey Badger Urethane. Video. Oh, video yeah, yes. so that's in the box right now. Mm -hmm. I also have all the footage for the matchup. Uh, things have been uh, it's it's it's, t it's a lot, lots of work going into editing and all, but you don't hear that you don't hear all that stuff. So yeah, but this is a little a little bonus hello to everyone on YouTube because usually when we update these or we upload them, it's uh, kind of weird because it's not really live. It was Friday was live, mm. but then in a few moments. We're going to hit the go live button, and then we're going to welcome in our Facebook live audience. God, this feels so official. So official, right? And uh, we apologize for not having a Friday Was Live last week because... I uh, forgot to hit the record button. I mean, was it you? Was it me? I'll take it. It was, it was kind of all of us, I guess. We just didn't hit that. We just didn't hit that record button. So uh, there it is. So now we're going to do another intro for everyone out on the book face. And here we go. Face face. Facey face. Facebook. Insta face. Insta, Insta book face. Graham. Twitter. Yeah. This we can edit out. Because now I have to I turn the microphone on. And now we have video. All right. Live. Here we are again. It is April 26, 2019, right? I think? Yeah. Sure. And it is Friday. We are live. It is raining out. And it's it's just crummy weather, man. You know what? New England, dude, East Coast, up up here in the Northeast is where we're at. And this this weather is just so fickle and weird. This is this is not. Because yesterday, dude, yesterday was a gorgeous day, man. The sun was out. This is not normal. The birds are chirping. Birds are chirping. And you notice that the, the foliage, the, the greenage, the greenage was greenery. Was, the greenery. The, the, I don't even know what to call it, but. We're now broadcasting on the Callahan's Bolorama Facebook page, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I know we we um, told people about it, and uh, I, I had a Facebook post about this as well. So we will be posting all of our bowling content stuff all on this page now. We have five different Facebook pages; um, all of them are, are all over the place. It's kind of crazy. So what we're doing is is we're going to delete and get rid of all those other pages, and then post everything under Callahan's Bolorama page, so that includes the, the pro shop stuff that we do, any tournament live stream that we do. There's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Are you coming to say hi? Ah, no. uh, see, she always wimps out every time. She always so, talks about wanting to be on here. She always wants to be on here, yeah, but she never fails. never pulls a trigger. So there it is. Um, so the, the, the pro shop page, the lounge, uh, the perfect score lounge, bar, whatever you want to call it, page, and the grill, uh, Bubba's Grills page as well. All, all that stuff, it's just, there's too much stuff going on, and uh, I'm trying to get everything a little more simple, a little bit more uh, easier to manage, and instead of having to check into like four or five different online things, which we're all checking our phones way too much, I'm trying to make a, a, a smoother product yep. where everything is, is delivered. Something's going on here. Yeah, man. It's simplified. Simplifying your entire Simplify, man. Everything. No, so I'm I'm reading and I'm listening to these audiobooks oh, no. about minimalism and and living intentionally. So you appreciate. Are my, we are we going there right now? So you appreciate my minimalist. Wallet. Yes, it's mi minimal, man. Because you know what, man, we we live in an age right now where we are so consumed with with all of this outside, you know, information and things constantly hitting us. I, I was I was listening to this um, this guy. He wrote this awesome book, and I'm in the middle of it right now. Did you know that? In one day, we get as much information uh, delivered to us than a uh, than a human being a uh, hundred years ago got in their entire life. Makes sense. Like, think about that, man. Think about it. it. Makes a lot of sense. Our brains aren't designed for all all of this like constant like just blah, information in your face. You know what I'm saying? Wild. It's wild. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. I See, know. that's what I mean. Look at that. Bing. Information. Things are just binging, going off, and everything else, but. Totally off the rails again. I think we have adapted. 
No, God no, God no, 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 no. So right Is that now, why when too much happens, I fall asleep. Dude, so think about it. The, so we are we are the most uh, we're the most lonely, depressed people that have ever ever been on the planet Earth right now, and we have the most stuff. We have all these things and stuff and computers and phones and these silly watches that I don't even know. I don't even know I need this thing. It's crazy, but. We're consumers, man. We're Jesus. taking part. I watch you use it, yes. I know. It, it, it comes in handy in certain situations where, it, you know, that, anyways, anyways. But, uh, and here we are making like a, another video for people to watch on and more stuff. On a 4K camera. Yeah, on a really, really nice camera, by the way. Thanks, uh, thanks, Sony, for not sponsoring. For not sponsoring. Yeah, oh, so here we go. All right, let's get back into it. It's Friday. We got some, I got some notes. And today, might see this thing that I bought won't even it won't even flip now. Hey, there we go. So the the national days. I, I know I like doing this. Yeah. It's fun because I feel like a lot of people don't actually know what today actually is. But I can make something up, put it on Google, and it will show up. I don't think so, man, because I feel like this thing that I look at is a really reliable source of information. Okay. And that, that's what I'm thinking. What that's is one thing. What so does Arbor mean? Today is National Arbor Day. What does that mean? It's Plant a Tree Day. I'm building a freaking garden. Yeah, man. So Mark is building a what? garden. Yeah. 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 That's awesome, man. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, it's also National Autobahn Day. Auto Autobahn? You're getting dry fast. Uh, well, now, so here, here's... I, didn't, I don't ever research any of this stuff. I'm just saying the words I'm reading right now. Yes. Now, there's the National Autobahn Society, which my brother-in-law, Dave... Is a part of. I, I believe he. I, I always forget what thing, like what chair he holds, but driver's seat. Driver's seat of the autobahn. But it's, it's birds, like uh, like National Bird Society. Like they go out birding. That's what autobahn. Mean? I, I could be messing this up. I know the autobahn you're thinking of in Germany, where they drive cars fast. Yeah. But there's also the National Autobahn Society that is for birds. Yeah, you're gonna Google it. I get. It. I totally get it. So while he does that, it's also National Dis Desertion Day. Don't know what that is. Here's one for all of our cat lovers out there. It is National Hairball Awareness Day. I'm not kidding. Today is National Hairball Awareness Day. So for the love of God, take care of your cats because today is the day that they could possibly get a hairball. It is a bird day. It's a bird day. See, I told you, man. That Autobahn. makes no sense. The Autobahn, just because, dude, it's a different country. This is America, man. You're thinking about Germany right now, dude. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's National Autobahn Day, which has to do with birds. Uh, maybe it's pronounced different. Audubon? Audubon? No, I don't know. Audubon. 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 Uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, right? Mm. Ah. Anyways, alright, so. Autobahn and Auto Audubon. Audubon and Autobahn. A U D A U T. A U T O B A N. There For we a lot go. of information, I'm getting sleepy. See? See what I mean? So right now, Mark's primitive brain is having difficulty <laughs> trying to process all the new information that, that he is now learning. We just rocked his world right here. Do you even know this exists? This is why we're doing Friday Live, man. Lisa. This is why we're doing it. Because... I, I need a monster. That's it. It's also Pretzel Day? Is it? It is. It's National Pretzel Day. She's right. Nikki. Nikki. You get it. You know what? She gets a she gets a prize. Yeah, she gets to throw a fourteen pound ball. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get to do. Ha! Ah. Hey, bada bang. So, uh, pretzel day. It is National Help a Horse Day. Oh, I just watched a video today of they were trying to breed horses and Ugh, and the weird. and the lady kicked the mail and he was just man, nah. <laughs> he's just gone, man. I wonder how many bad things happened to. That's how hard a horse kick. Oh my goodness, I can imagine. There's a guy that he we drove out. bowling balls for. He was out. He's been kicked by a horse. And he was like, in, uh, he was like in a coma or something well, for yeah. a whole lot of time. Super shoot. Yeah, hitting you in the face. With that's a, wild. With an animal that's pure muscle. It is also National Kids and Pets Day, so we have to watch out for hairballs. Yeah. We have to take care of our horses, and we have to make sure our kids and our pets are all taking. It. Every day should be. Yeah, but every morning I have cuddle time. Right, cuddle time. It's adorable too. All those pictures. Yeah, I send them. Adorable. Thank you. I love it. So there it is, uh, National Pretzel Day. Thank you, thank you, Nikki. And uh, the the Richter scale, the guy that invented the Richter scale, Andy, Andy Richter. Uh, I think that's a comedian. Uh -huh. Not a comedian. I don't know what his name is. Once again, I should probably do some more research on that kind of stuff. But it is also Richter scale day today because today is his birthday. The guy that invented that scale to measure earthquakes and seismic things was born today. Mm. 
There it is. And then, so those, those are our days. If I missed any, uh, drop some comments or do whatever you're gonna do. Uh, we have some uh, we have some honor rolls. Okay. So last night, uh, Brian Carnian, Carnian, sure, Carnian, sure. shot 300. There you go. Good job, buddy. There Ready to go. go on a roll, on a roll. Uh, Mr. Mike Walsh threw a 268, a 290, and a 266 for an 824 last night. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah. Mike Walsh, man, way yeah. to go! Get it's amazing. Pin. It's amazing. I, I, well, I got the pictures confirming that pins were given. So here at Bull Rama, man, we uh, since the and, and this is no no dump on the USBC by any means because the USBC is not an awards program um, thing, entity. That, that's not their job to give out awards for bowling. It is their job to make sure that our sport is on sanction lanes, to make sure the tournaments and everything else or the youth and the women's and all that stuff is all run properly, that we have rules to go by. They also, did you know, they also, um, when you bank with a bowling alley that is USB certified and you're sanctioned, you are bonded. So if anything happens with money or whatever, it's like an extra insurance policy. Because a lot of people ask us on a daily basis, like, hey man, why do we sanction? And it, it is, it's because people are like, well, let me give me, you know, I, if I have 39 300 games, I want to have 39 300 ranked. Jesus. And Sam that is, holy Moses. Hey, hi Sam. How's big, going? big beefy man. Yeah, he's a big, he's a big boy. He's got a home gym though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he, he almost he's he reminds me like the situation. You know, the situation had those like yeah. those those like yeah. bulbous potato arms. I haven't spoken to him in years, but yeah. I follow him. I yeah. follow you. Yeah, I you see you. We see you, bro. We see, see you. you. Growing. Yeah. What was I talking about? Sanctioning. So. Sanctioning. <laughs> Sanction me. Sanction me with the armies, Dave Spell. It's great. It's a great show. Yeah, he wasn't talking about bowling. Anywho, but yeah, I don't even know. Ah, whatever, dude. So. Obviously, you should sanction if you bowl. That that makes sense. If you if you golf, you're part of some kind of golfing association. If you fish, that's me, right? I fish. Like the bass so Apparently, the bass association yeah. is like really expensive. It's like a, it's like a hundred or two hundred dollars a year we get. to like bass fish. But that's for tournaments. Yeah, right, right. But the USBC also, you have to sanction. Well, correct. To be able to bowl those tournaments. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So think about how much money goes Fishing in. Fishing is a very expensive sport. If you think about it, if you want to do tournaments and all that, you need a nice boat, you need yeah. nice gear, you need to keep everything up to date. Yeah, but the same thing goes with golf or any 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 other like <laughs> bowling is like here's my twenty dollars, and now I'm just gonna bowl every week for twenty dollars. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So this gets into a whole other discussion about um, I'm talking about a seventy thousand dollar boat. Right, but you choose your level. Of involvement, you know what I'm saying? Like you can come. So th this is my next point. So you can come in and you can get one bowling ball, correct? In a bag, yes. In a pair of shoes and beat everybody, and maybe possibly be really, really good. And you're just you're just beating anyone okay. all the time anyway, and you get money from it, right? Money back, yeah. You could be the world's worst fisherman ever and have a hundred thousand dollar, you know, whatever gritty white fishy boat with like, a bunch good. of fishy lines and stuff. Me. Sure, sure, sure. And you can catch nothing, or you can basically go crack a twig off a tree, fashion up a fishing pole with some line, get a uh, get a clothes hanger. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Hey, I'm just saying. Well, I got a bite. I you, don't, a bite. You, you don't have to spend a whole ton of money. You don't. To go fishing. You fish don't it. have to spend a whole bunch of money to do anything. Right. Right. But, right. But if you're gonna go to that level and I show up in one of my kayaks, yeah, and I'm just. Right. And guys are just boing. Yeah, but what if you're you, that guy? But what if you hit a spot? You know, what if you hit a spot? You do hit the spots, man. And you, and you just and you just start yanking out fish. Yeah. Where, and you where am I gonna put them? I don't know, man. You have to keep them alive. Yeah, no, you put them in the you put ice in the kayak in the middle between your legs. No, and you that shove will, the fish into it. That will kill them. Oh, they breathe. Oh, all right, 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 right. Yeah, because because fish aren't so supposed to be out of water because they're they're animals. Oh, we're coming all the way Big back. Big boats around. have live wells, uh, and when you're done weighing your fish, do you put them back in the water? You put them back. In the water. Nice. There we go. So, oh, yeah. so the, the amount of money you spend on anything that you do is really up to you. Like you can do anything for very little, or you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Hashtag Let's Go Fishing. Who wants to go fishing? There we go. I said it. So what? We're bowling. Yeah, we're. But, but you know what? I feel like we're we're broadening our horizons yeah, here. Well, I just want to be friends with everybody. We're rolling into the summer right now, and we have some uh, our summer league starting up, and that is the week of the 13th, starting that Monday. 
I believe the summer scratch doubles is starting the following Tuesday. The meeting is going to be on the 14th. Uh, I haven't talked to Keith in like a week. <laughs> Wait, Monday? No, the Monday one's the Monday's definitely the, thir the 13th. 13th, and we we have some things to talk about. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have some balls to drill because that's the level of of involvement that we eight. have. I've got eight. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. use two. But don't get me wrong. If you don't have eight or sixteen or a hundred bowling balls, you just have one ball, and you want to come down and you want to bowl on Monday and, and try out some challenge shots. Try it out. Do it. Go for it, man. Join the league. You don't need. You can rent shoes, man. You can rent yeah, shoes. Here's the thing. And you can buy a tropical storm for 120 bucks. Like I said, you I, can go bowl. I have eight balls. I'm gonna use two of them. Right. Of course. Right. You can only technically use one ball at a time. Know what I'm saying? That was that was dumb. That was me just. I have two favorite balls that I will use. Yeah. 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 That's it. Oh, well, me too. I mean, I feel like everyone just has like one or two or three pieces that they're comfortable with, maybe. Pieces. They're called pieces. <laughs> when you have more than when you have more than three bowling balls, I'm getting sleepy. They're called pieces. Too much information. Get sleepy. That's what Tariq calls them. Pieces. I need a new piece. A new piece. <laughs> and there's many, many different terms. <laughs> so much terminology on that. Oh. The have a ball. So what? I've had people ask about the have a ball price as well. See another ding. See, yeah. like my consciousness, my stream of effort has been now dinged, thwarted, thwarted by my watch. Yeah, the rails are over here. The rails are here. So now yeah. Wednesday, the have a ball league is going to be twenty four dollars. I had a couple people. I didn't put that on the flyer. I don't. I don't know why. Yeah. I didn't put it on the flyer, but I sent a big email out to everyone. So hopefully everyone probably got that as well, and that's awesome. Mm. Uh, so that's that. The Summer League for Marcel Jr. on Thursday, that's the four player. Mm -hmm. That's also the, the 16th. And the 17th is gonna be the Craft Beer League, which we're really trying to get off the ground. There is um, there's some interest in it. Uh, it, it, it. Who knows, I don't know, if we get enough people, we can run it. But we really wanna try to get at least you know, 10 or 12 people to kind of show up for that so it can make sense for us to, to, to you know, get that rolling. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like a bowling ball. Yes, like a bowling ball. Exactly. Now I got a face ID, my thing. Uh, so was that summer? Uh, summer league. The motive test drive is going to be the 19th. 19. And get your early entries in. I believe a bunch of people have already. There it is, right there. So we've got a bunch of people that have already thrown money into that motive test drive. And Mark, tell them what they get when they get in there early. T-shirt. You get a freaking T-shirt. Boom. So if you want a motive t-shirt, you can wear that fishing if you want. If you wanted to, and the weather is appropriate, you Not can wear. Not to be appropriate. You be cold out. You be a t-shirt. Oh, warm. warm enough. Warm enough. Eighty with rain is actually quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, I, I, you told me. I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. So there it is. So May fifth, man, Cinco de Mayo. Come down and get your money in before then, and you'll get your motive t-shirt uh, the day of the event. So when you show up for your squad time, uh -huh. we're gonna we're gonna hand you a motive t-shirt, which is awesome. How, Pretty how are we going to go about sizing? I have no idea. Uh, Joe Johnson's really big. Yes. Uh, Nikki is very small. Nikki uh, didn't pay. Oh, I don't know. I'm just referencing. I'm she's, just, she's just not thinking. getting a shirt. Yeah, no, no shirt for Nikki. I'm not giving her a shirt. Ugh. She doesn't even throw money. Nope, not at all. She throws a... Uh, Storm. Who's even heard of it? Heard of it? Storm. Oh, so they're from Utah. Uh -huh. They make bowling balls. Mm. Yeah, they're kind of they're they're upstart. I think they're in a crowd crowdfunding right so now. Like this crowdfunding. Okay. I mean, that is not as big as that. Okay, that's that's, that's huge. I just wanted to make sure. Huge. I, I have faith. Huge. Faith. Wales. So uh, summer leagues, motive test drive. Um, the all of the memorial sh uh, jerseys for my dad are finally in. Correct. Thank you for everyone's patience. Thank you very much for um, also just getting jerseys, man. That makes us really excited and happy. We're stoked about it. Um, nothing says more about my father's memory uh, than all of his friends and all the people that bowl here. Getting all those jerseys, thank you so much. If anyone missed that jersey order at any time, you can come see me and I'll put another order in for anyone that wants them. Uh, if I didn't hand deliver your thank you. jersey, I just didn't know you were here. Right. So, next time you're here, uh, come see Mark. The jerseys are in the pro shop, in a box, right back here. So if you didn't get your jersey yet, come on in and see this dude, and he'll get your jersey for you. Mm -hmm. Only see this guy. Yeah. Only see him. Mark is in charge of getting all those jerseys out to everyone. They're back here. I don't want everyone's hands going in that box, and all of a sudden we're missing jerseys and all that. So Mark is solely responsible for all that stuff. Sorry. Solely responsible for a lot of things. A lot, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I like it. Stuff. I like it. Then... We have 
So the Bubba's Grill, this is, we're wrapping up our first season running food and beverage here. So it has been, it has been interesting. It has been fun. It has been absolute hell on earth as well. It's very frustrating. Um, a, a bunch of people I talked to when I was like, hey man, we're gonna start running our food and, and, and beverage thing, the whole, the whole cusp of it. And people were like, dude, don't do it. It's crazy. Maybe they're right, but the good thing is is that we can control and, and, and put out the menus that we want to put out and, and make sure the food is good, make sure the quality is good, and we're really excited about that. And uh, being that the namesake is for my dad as well, uh, I know he would love a lot of stuff on that menu. And uh, speaking of the menu, starting next week, we are adding a whole bunch of new stuff and changing some things up for the summer. So definitely if you're bowling a summer league or if you have a couple weeks, le weeks left of your season, go check out the new menu. It will sh We should have it up probably maybe Monday or Tuesday, somewhere around there is what we're figuring. And bang. Is there Fred's? Beyond Burger, yes. Beyond Burger? Yes, the, Fred, the Fred's Beyond Burger is now on there. What is a, what is a Beyond Burger? It, what, is, what is it? Yeah. It is a pea protein and other different things, yeah. all kind of put in together into a patty, and it, and it is absolutely delicious. So you're saying there's no animal products? No animal products whatsoever. So all my vegetarian and vegan friends out there, come down, because you no know, vegan such like, oh I god, like, yeah. yeah. I feel like you have to say that. Ugh, vegan, Ugh. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You know what's crazy? Uh-oh. No, no, it's crazy. People are like, wow, vegan's extreme. Like, is it, is it? Compassion and like caring about the planet and your health and animals, that's extreme. Wow. Oh, I, I must be I must be crazy. Off the rails now, huh? <laughs> I don't know. There it is. So anyone that is still watching, thank you very much. And <laughs> they just hearts and laughs. So that, that's good. That's a lot of information. <laughs> you just saw once again the Neanderthalic brain of Mark just yeah. kind of just goo 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 just robotic slowdown, yep. tin man no oil kind of thing going on there. Oil. So, any uh, so everyone who's who's out there watching this after or whatever, um, our view count was low today because a lot of people were used to this being on my page and maybe they didn't get the notification. So, if you're seeing this after, which we will share to everyone, please make sure to uh, like or follow Callahan's Bolorama. And I believe isn't there a notification on on Facebook? Did Can't you, you like send follow it? it or whatever? Well, did you send a? No, hey, I didn't. Hey, I'm switching pages. No, I did. I did say that. I, I put out a message and I had, I had like 70 something people all replied to it. But maybe because people tell me that it'll say Fred's now live. Yeah. And so if people aren't looking for that notification, maybe they missed it. Or there's friends of mine that maybe don't like this page yet. Yeah. So we're going to share this again on all of our stuff. Um, if there is any kind of notification belly dingy thing, make sure to follow the feed or whatever it is on Facebook that it is. Also, we did a. Um, a bonus hello to YouTube yep. a little thing before this video sure so sure if did. you want to see some bonus content and other things and other fun uh, non-sensory that we talk about non-sensory we're, we're, we're making up sensory. we're making up words right now so go to Callahan's performance bowling on YouTube and make sure that you subscribe and also hit the notification bell on that channel as well so there's only two things you have to do you gotta go and follow what you're looking at now, which is the Callahan's Bolorama Facebook page. This is our main page now. This is the nerve center for all things that we're gonna do. Any live stream tournaments, anything that's happening, bowling-esque uh, videos and all that stuff is all gonna happen right here. And if you're interested in ball reviews and other things, tomfoolery, go over to YouTube and click the Callahan's Performance Bowling YouTube channel subscription thing. Hit, thumbs. Hit those thumbs and smash the things and chop trees down to put them back up. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. It's Arbor Day. Don't chop trees down. Unless it's, it's Autobahn Day. It's, it's Autobahn day. day, so drive your car real fast. I'm lost. I don't even know what's going on. All right, so that's it. It's a wrap. Uh, we're out of here. We love you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, do all the things that we said because uh, it's it's gonna help your life. It's gonna it's gonna make you better a better better human being. You know what I'm saying? Sure? All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Right. I'm gonna hit the video thing, then you end it, and then you, have the, you so what I've learned you have to end it twice. Oh. So now when I end it here. Yeah. And if you're still watching in YouTube.
<laughs> Thank you so much. It was Friday, was live. We were live, now we're not live anymore because you're probably watching this five years from now and like, what the hell were these guys talking about? I can say hell on YouTube because it's not as, you know? It is family friendly, but yeah, that's how it is. Now I'm gonna do the awkward reach over. 